The confectionery business in Indonesia is predicted to grow significantly with local and international players competing to serve products that meet local tastes. Indonesian Alzilvia Iskandar spoke to Mondelez Indonesia President Director Sunil Paldar and asked him how the company's growth compared to other players in the industry. So 2016 has been a very good year for us. Uh, <clears throat> we are ahead of our plans. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if I look at, uh, say, the way we measure our business, almost all KPIs we are doing better than, you know, our plan for this year. Most importantly, um, you know, where we think that 2016 has been a good year, if I look at it from a consumer point of view, we've had um, very successful new product launches. Belvita Breakfast Biscuit we launched, which has been a huge success. We've also been uh, able to, uh, you know, uh, service our customers better mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, if we have a new NPD and the business is growing, it's good for our customers. Um, is the current situation of our global economics has the impact of your business? See, what happens is, um, you know, if I look at, there are, there are two ways to see it. One is, uh, there is, there is uh, an overall slowdown, um, you know, in, in the economy, which we all know. But particularly in Indonesia, I don't see that as a constraint mm. because uh, today the economy is growing at you know five percent plus. The inflation is under check. Uh, the categories that we operate in, those categories are growing well. Mm. Uh, and you know, from my point of view or from our business point of view, there is a significant room for improvement. Uh, you know, both in terms of market share and, say, for example, expanding our reach. So uh, we are more focused on on opportunities. Mm that uh, this country has to offer and we continue to make investments both in our brands and building capabilities for our processes and, 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 and mm. people capabilities. Uh, so what makes your company different from all the others out there? Okay, so if I look at, <coughs> you know, there are three areas broadly uh, where I see that uh, Mondelez is different from the uh, rest of the FMCG companies. I think first and foremost is, is the way we see and value uh, growth. So, you know, um, our growth principles are rooted in, you know, um, in a deep consumer and customer mindset. Mm -hmm. So we spend significant amount of resources, time, and effort in understanding, you know, consumers and customers. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to understand our consumers better, which and this particularly, uh, you know, um, guides our innovation agenda. We don't want to innovate for the sake of, you know, innovations mm -hmm. and, and proliferate our, yeah, yeah. our our SKUs and brands, which is not good for our customers. Neither it is good for us. Mm -hmm. So I think that is that is one area. The second is is the way we are structured. You know, we have a category model, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, in, our, in our in our company, which basically means this category uh, structure allows us to to pursue and chase or invest behind opportunities, mm. and we are not restricted by the size of our business. I'll give you an example. Mm. Uh, Indonesia, if I if we see a big opportunity, and we want to invest behind that opportunity. We are not restricted by the size of the Indonesian business. As long as I can go and convince our, say, regional category heads or global mm. category heads of the opportunity and also demonstrate ability to execute, mm. investment is least of our concern. Now, what this does is it liberates us, mm. right? And it's also very, very exciting. And that is a unique thing that we have in our business which, which other FMCG companies do not have. Yeah. The third area where I think that you know what separates us from the rest of the industry is we have a very uh, inspiring and a holistic vision for the organization. Mm. Our vision for uh, you know for our business in Indonesia, we want to be Indonesia's favorite snacking company in the next three to five years, mm. Mm. and we we believe that we will be um, you know Indonesia's favorite snacking company if we are adored by our consumers, if we are valued by our customers, if we are trusted by communities. Mm if we are uh, respected by our investors, and finally, if we are loved by our colleagues. Mm -hmm. Now, this vision and our five priorities, you know, these five focus areas, pretty much guides our every action. Mr. Sunil, uh, speaking of how to win the consumer trust, parents, you know, sometimes can be very skeptical when it comes to snacks for their children. How do you plan to advertise your products to win their trust? Yeah. So in uh, in 2005, uh, we announced our uh, you know global principles for advertising to children, and since then we've strengthened uh, our commitment to, to you know to our, our global guidelines and principles. 
we do not in mondelez we do not advertise to children below 12 years of age mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, irrespective of our the nutritional profile of our products we do not advertise to children below 12 years of age we also prohibit uh, in school um, activation or marketing of our products both primary as well as secondary schools now to win the trust of parents or or you know uh, who buy snacks for for their families or their children we direct all of our efforts and our communi communication to parents and to and to adults mm. um, and uh, you know we provide them necessary information and choices which allows them to make mindful snacking mm. uh, decisions for themselves and also their family you know there is a controversy about whether or not that traces of big standing were found in Cadbury, mm. Malaysia in 2015. Do you see any changes after that controversy in Malaysia in sale in Indonesia? So uh, let me first give you, uh, you know, how we, uh, uh, how we see this. <coughs> see, Mondelez is committed to make products which can be enjoyed by, by consumers, including Muslim consumers uh, all across the world, um, especially in uh, Muslim majority countries where uh, halal certification is either recommended or it is mandatory mm. right mondelez aims to set very high standards and um, you know um, and compliance and we want to provide assurance to, to every consumer seeking um, you know halal certification that our products are, are absolutely compliant mm. in indonesia um, our products cadbury chocolates are certified by Indonesia Ulema Council, which is MUI, yeah. and therefore it is 100% certified. Mm. In Malaysia, which is the, the question that you asked, mm. the authorities, um, you know, confirm, the Malaysian authorities confirm that there were no traces of pork DNA found in Cadbury chocolates in Malaysia. Mm. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's where we are. What new products do your company has in store for the new future? So what we are doing, uh, Dilvia, right now is, um, what you know we are we are currently bringing our uh, our established and proven global platforms into indonesia which are relevant for the indonesian consumer um, uh, to accelerate our growth what we launched uh, belvita in april this year uh, which is designed at providing uh, alternative breakfast solution to, to and it's targeted at consumer in the age group of 25 to 35 who are seeking um, you know nutritious convenient and tasty mm. yeah breakfast options these are people who who follow a very uh, you know uh, high quality and high paced life uh, so that's that's a big new innovation and uh, belvita is actually it's an outcome as i told you before it's an outcome of of, of key consumer insights yeah. and um, it's it's it, you know it's sold across 50 countries and uh, you know globally indonesia after china was the second country in asia where we launched belvita and so far, it has met with a lot of success, mm. uh, and I only hope uh, and pray that you know Indonesian consumers they love <laughs> uh, Belvita and they benefit from it. Mm. Uh, so that's that's our innovation, uh, you know. In uh, and we have similar plans, exciting plans for uh, for bringing in our global platforms uh, in in cheese category uh, and also in, in chocolate category. According to Euromonitor International data, the growth for chocolate confectionery will increase faster than the gum and sugar confectionery categories in the next five years. More of Indonesia Now shortly will meet a group that revives the art of the puppet show. And we take you to Lake Lino in North Sulawesi.